So you do it yourself. But... By telling me to do it myself, you are invalidating my feelings and concerns, therefore perpetuating the toxic work culture that forces me to neglect my physical and mental health in favor of money and results. This is the greatest title screen I've ever seen. <laughs> Keep it together. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvid, and this is the greatest title screen I've ever seen. I mean, we have time to unpack all this. First of all, splendid. splendid. Second of all, tea, and the window is broken, <laughs> and the yeah, dude is here. <laughs> uh, today we're going to play a game called Robber Guest. You broke my window! How dare you! La 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 la. <laughs> Getting some real... Elmira vibes from this young lass. I still love you and hug you and squeeze you all the bit. Getting some real. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Vibes. I like Becky. Becky just showed up and I like Becky a lot. Good evening. Good evening, miss. Why are you in my house? To rob you, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> Hooray, new fertilizer. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop busting a gut. Now, if I was Becky, if, if it came to my mind, I pr probably would say, Hooray, new fertilizer. Just to really throw them off. Uh, I think realistically, I would offer them a cup of tea. Hand over your money and earthly possessions, or else. But wait. Since you're a guest, although uninvited, I have to offer you something to drink first. What would you like, sir? A nice cup of tea would be nice. Thank you. Coming right up. You go and prepare some tea. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for the tea. Now I must demand that you give me your money. Wait, you gotta finish your tea first. Robbing me beforehand would be rude. I'm being a good host, so you gotta be a good guest. Very well then. Go, 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 go. Now hand over your cash. <sighs> hey, you're supposed to enjoy my tea, not down it. <laughs> this is gonna end with Becky, uh, with Robber in Becky's basement, and he's gonna be like, why are you doing this to me? And <laughs> she's like, I'll let you go, but you have to drink all this tea. Apologies. But I need your money. Now. Shink. You prepare your guests another cup of tea. <sighs> Here you go. Thank you for the tea. I really do appreciate it. Now about your money. Drink my tea first. Oh dear. All right. Downs, downs tea again. Oh, she's not going to like that. Now your money. You downed it again? What rude and disrespectful behavior. Apologies. Now, your money. <laughs> Too bad. I put sleeping pills in your tea. Now, good night. Uh huh? No, please be fair and just hand over your money. I don't want to be asleep. I would have let you rob me, but you downed my tea. Do you know how many robbers would wish for their robbing victims to be so guest friendly? And once you're asleep, I will do unspeakable things to you. <laughs> I like Becky. <laughs> the robber fights to stay awake. It's a losing battle. No, this can't be. You're being so unfair. <laughs> oh, one down on the ground. Unspeakable things like dragging you to the front of my house and not letting you back in again. <laughs> and then you'll have to find a new house to rob. <laughs> Sleep talking. Why must things be so unfair? Shut up! It's your fault for being a rude robber! Watch out for Becky. Becky will cut you. You yell at his sleeping face. You attempt to drag him to the front of your house, but he's kind of heavy. Aww, uh, so annoying. You get distracted by the two dirty teacups your rude guest drank from. Ew! You start loading the dishwasher. Wakes up and rubs his eyes. Why am I on the floor and so tired? Hey, 
Can I have another cup of tea? Oh, whoops. I forgot about you. Wait, you want another cup of tea? Yes, if it's no trouble. I could do with another one. Of course, me. <laughs> <laughs> you prepare your guest another cup of tea. There you go. Thank you. This is lovely. Thank you so much. Smiles and downs the tea. Sir? <laughs> Stop downing my tea, gosh darn it! You're the worst guest slash robber ever! Oh dear. You must be really annoyed with me, huh? Well, I did down your tea after all. I suppose to make amends, I could give you something of mine to keep. Something valuable, that is. Don't give her a knife! <laughs> The guest, robber, reaches into his pocket and takes out an expensive-looking diamond ring. How about this? I forgot who I robbed this from. Oh, wow! You broke into my house to rob me and now you're giving me your stuff? As a peace offering. Plus, I feel bad now for downing your tea. As you should! But, okay, I accept your peace offering. You take the expensive-looking diamond ring from him. Reverts to being an evil robber again. Excellent. Now give me all your money and stuff. He holds up his knife to you threateningly. What? You gave me the ring only to rob it from me again? Of course I did. I'm here to rob you after all. Now, just give me your money and stuff. Please. Oh my god. Breaking into my house? Threatening me with a knife? Wanting to rob me? I guess you really do have bad intentions. If only the signs were more clear, I could have seen that sooner. I love Becky. That's correct. Now just give me your money. Please. The robber gives you puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Please give me your money. Aww, I can't say no to that face. You give him back the ring. You want any more tea? Why, yes. Another cup of tea would be splendid. Thank you. Is my robber British? Splendid. Now I kind of want some tea. Coming right up. You make him another cup of tea and mix some sleeping pills in again. Oh, no. Are you going to remember to throw him outside this time? Here you go. <laughs> Why, thank you very much. Go, go. Down's tea and falls asleep again. Up. Oh. He downed my tea again? That's it. This time I'm actually gonna do unspeakable things to him. You can feel your animalistic fury growing and your nails sharpening. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, she's going Super Saiyan. Becky's going beast mode. <laughs> You tie your shoelace together like the evil beast that you are. <laughs> oh, why do I feel like my shoelaces are tied together? Hey, sleep talking while being a guest in a house you broke into is rude. You yell at his sleeping face again. You get distracted by the dirty teacup your rude guest drank from. Ew. You continue loading the dishwasher. <laughs> The robber wakes up and notices his shoelaces are tied together. <laughs> what? What the? Why are my shoelaces tied together? What? Ah! <laughs> you even saw that they were tied together and tripped anyways. What an idiot. I know this kind of revenge seems excessive since you only broke into my house, threatened me with a knife and robbed me. Not really since it was your ring anyways, but whatever. But you also downed my tea, and that is not acceptable! But, but I apologize for downing your tea by giving you my ring. Why are you still holding a grudge? Tries to untie shoelaces and trips again. <laughs> well, you robbed the ring back from me. Therefore, the apology doesn't count, silly. But I didn't even steal your ring back. Take backsies are allowed within 30 seconds, so it was technically still mine. That's the rules. <laughs> the robber smiles at you, hoping for understanding while still tripping over his shoelaces. Well, I always did ten seconds, so you did steal it from me. I hope you trip forever and ever. Trips over his shoelaces. Again. Rolls eyes at you while still trying to untie his shoelaces. And trips again. Trips. You're so unfair. Trips again. 
<laughs> no, I am not. You are. Trips, just untie my shoelaces already. Please. Trips. <laughs> He's gonna have a concussion at the by the end of this. The robber continues tripping over his tied shoelaces over and over again. He might seriously hurt himself at this point. Ugh, this robber be tripping. <laughs> cackle! The cackle that I have cacked! Oh dear. Okay, um, hmm. Let him trip forever and ever! Nope. Go trip forever and ever. Trips. But tripping and falling over is not very pleasant. Please. Mm. Trips again. Nope. The robber starts bleeding and crying. How cruel, Becky. How cruel. Becky, have mercy. And Becky just says, Does this look like the face of mercy? Please, I'm hurting so badly. I don't want to lie on the floor all day, tripping over my shoelaces. Please, please, please untie them. Trips. Nope. Please, I'll give you anything you want. I'll give you my expensive looking diamond ring again. Just untie me, please. I beg you. Trips. Trips and breaks bones. Please, I don't want to die here. Just untie my shoelaces. You're making me suffer. That's the point. You'll think twice about downing somebody's tea again. And I guess about robbing houses and threatening people with a knife, but whatever. Oh, actually, I don't think you'll be thinking at all once you're dead. dead. <laughs> I'm really dying. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to rob houses. All I wanted to do was a little breaking in, maybe a little stabbing and a little robbing. Why is life so unfair? Sobs and cries more. <laughs> Trips and breaks more bones. <laughs> Becky, you're gonna have to clean all this up. Please, just untie my shoelaces. I promise to be a good robber if you do. Please. Attempts to make puppy dog eyes, but looks horrendous instead with bruised and battered face. You forgot the part where you downed my tea. That's the real crime here. Y yes, I'm sorry for downing your tea as well. I'm sorry. Please, I don't want to die here. I am in tremendous pain. <laughs> Trips and breaks jaw. Goodness. P please. The robber can barely speak anymore and is in excruciating pain and agony. Tears and snot and blood are streaming down his face. This is not the face of mercy. <laughs> Trips a few less times before dying miserably. <laughs> Looks like you got a fair punishment for downing my tea. Justice has been served. <laughs> Good ending, according to Becky. Justice has been served. All right. What if what if I do show mercy and untie his shoelaces? Just untie my shoelaces already, please. Ah, uh, fine. Since apparently you're too dumb to do this yourself for some reason, I'm gonna be a good host. You untie his shoelaces. Yay! Jumps up and down. No, no, you're a great host. You're very kind. Giving me tea and untying my shoelaces. That she kind of tied anyway. I now realize my wrongs and will stop robbing people. Thank you very much. Um, and what else? Uh, not downing tea anymore, of course. Correct. Hooray! Woohoo! So, now that the air has been cleared of all animosity, may I ask you something? Sure! Well, can I... Can I rob your house again? Ew. What do you mean, again? You didn't even rob it the first time. And no, you cannot rob my house. What happened to not robbing houses anymore? Please. The other houses I'm going to rob are probably going to be dirty and ugly and awful. But your house is so nice and clean and pretty. So, may I rob your house? Please. You think asking for permission makes it better? 
Yes. <clears throat> well, technically, I guess it's not robbery if you're allowed to take stuff. Exactly. So, pretty please. Mm. Before I make my choice, I'll make you another cup of tea. And this time, you won't down it, okay? Better not down that tea, friend. You're gonna die. Splendid. I promise. I promise. Looks around shiftily again. You make him another cup of tea. There you go. <gasps> Thank you. <gasps> Am I a fluffing joke to you, sir? You clench your fists and feel the fury inside you build up again. That's it. You've been rude enough. This is the last straw, and since I didn't put sleeping pills in that one because I trusted you, I'll have to knock you out myself. Oh, snap! Oh, double snaps! You bring out the huge sledgehammer you've had hidden somewhere on your body. <gasps> She's mastered hammer space! W -w what are you gonna do with that? The robber wants to back away, but trips over his untied shoelaces. Oh, They're not even tied together anymore, and you're still tripping over them? Pathetic. Ugh. You slam the sledgehammer against his head and knock him out. Uh, goes unconscious. Mm, that's so unfair. Rude! You drag him down to your basement, where people breaking into your house usually end up. Uh, oh. It's a friend basement. You put him into one of your makeshift cages. The robber starts waking up and holds his head in pain. Ugh, ow. What? Where am I? Why am I? No, I've been locked up. Am I in prison already? No, you're in my basement. I've given you enough chances. This is what you get. You're so unfair. How was I to know that downing tea would be so offensive? He rattles and kicks the cage door and attempts to squeeze between the bars of the cage. Because I told you three times, you fluffing dummy! Okay, fine. I did down your tea. I can't believe I'm apologizing for this again. But you, you see, it was just so good I couldn't help myself. The robber tries to squeeze between the bars again. <laughs> Oh no. Really? My tea was just so good you couldn't help yourself? Y yes, that's exactly right. It was just so... so delicious. I lost control every time and... downed it all at once. A likely story, friend. I can let your crimes against my tea slide then. You will? Hooray! Jumps up and down. <laughs> it's head on cage ceiling. Ow. I can forgive you for the tea. But that doesn't mean I'll let you go. Omae wa mo shinderu. Nani? Why not? Just let me go, please. I don't like it in here. That's the point! You laugh maniacally. <laughs> no! He rattles the bars and tries to squeeze through them again. You're so unfair. I'm stuck in this stupid, horrible, terrible cage. <laughs> you gotta stop trying to squeeze through those bars. That space is like a fraction of your size. And now you're calling me fat. This is so horrible, unfair, terrible. Ugh. Ah, I don't like it in here. This is all your fault in the first place. <laughs> you can stop your pity party. I know it's my fault, but I'm cold. I'm hungry, and I just want to be free. Free from this cage and fly like a bird back into freedom. Ew, cringe, stop talking like that. And besides, I don't have anything against you right now. I forgave you for the tea thing. But... 
But once I put somebody in my cage, something changes, and I just can't let them go anymore. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, please, please let me go, I beg you. You can't keep me in this cage forever. I'll wither and die. You won't wither and die. You'll most likely bleed out or die from blunt force trauma. Depends on what I decide to do with you. But, but I'm a guest in your house, you said. Remember, you're not gonna hurt me, right? You were a guest, but now you've upgraded from guest to prisoner. Well, from robber to guest to robber to guest to robber to guest to robber to guest to prisoner, to be exact. I don't want to go back and see how accurate that is. But I will trust Becky. Becky is definitely a trustworthy young lady. <laughs> but I don't want to be a prisoner. I want to be a guest. Please, 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 please. I'm so, so cold and lonely and hungry and can't you forgive me and just let me go? Dude, you've, you've been in that cage for what, like 20 minutes? <laughs> like I said, it's not about forgiving you anymore. I already did. But once I promise you'll go into my garden, I'm not allowed to take it back. No take backsies. The centipede always keeps their promises, so I'll have to keep mine too. And the soil of the centipede needs fertilizer. And I, and promised, I promised to bring, to bring fertilizer. fertilizer. The robber goes quiet and looks at you, fearful and confused. The, the soil of the centipede? What does that even mean? Please, just let me go. I promise I won't tell anyone about this. I mean, I can't since I broke into your house in the first place, right? We would both be in trouble then. <laughs> Please don't, uh, don't do anything bad to me. Actually, I'm only going to do good things to you. But you'll only realize that once you're dead and buried in my garden to function as fertilizer for the soil of the centipede. I'm... I'm going to be what? No, please don't do this. I don't want to die. I have a family. Do you have any idea how much it will hurt them if, if I was to die? Sobs hysterically. <laughs> I can bury your family in my garden too. Then you'd be all together. No. You're not going to do that, right? No, th this can't be happening. I must be dreaming. I want to wake up now, 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 right now. The robber sits down and starts rocking back and forth. Oh, <laughs> This is a nightmare. This has to be a nightmare. Please, please, please wake me up now. He tries squeezing his eyes shut, hoping he'll wake up in his bed at home, safe and sound. <laughs> you can feel the beast inside you screaming. <laughs> She's going goblin mode. The robber tries to block out your creepy smile and giggling. He buries his face behind his knees and continues to rock back and forth, sobbing. Oh, please wake me up. This is a nightmare. Wake me up from this horrible, horrible dream I am having. <laughs> your fangs come out. This is so scary. Please let me wake up. Do you really want to keep your eyes closed for this? Don't you want to see what I'll be doing to you? No, please, please. I don't want to open my eyes. I don't want to see what you're going to do to me. <laughs> I guess you'll only feel it then. No. <laughs> Neutral ending, according to Becky. Another one bites the soil. What if I offer him another cup of tea then? Poor robber, looking so pathetic. You want another cup of tea? Yes, please. Trips starts crying. Aw, don't worry. My tea will make you feel better. You make him another cup of tea. 
Thank you. This smells lovely. Slurp. He slurped the tea. Uh-oh. Beast mode. Activated. Becky, why did you down my tea again? I'm getting sick of your bullcrap. Well, wait, I can explain. <laughs> I want to hear his explanation. But I also want to maul him. Well, I did say beast mode, so beast mode, maul him to death? No. I don't care. You can feel the beast inside you screaming. I am going to rip you apart. What? what the? And I'll enjoy every second of it just like I always do. What are you? Ah! What in tarnations are you? Ah! <laughs> Please, oh god, it hurts. Stop. No. Proceed. Uh, this is so uh, unfair. Please, for the love of God. Please. Proceed. <laughs> Hurts. Uh. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think you got him. I think you got him, Becky. Ah, he stopped screaming. His heart is in your hand, and is still bleeding, beating, beating. Ooh. <laughs> Smells amazing, and it's gonna taste amazing too. All right, Becky, hungry. Good ending, according to Becky. Time to feast. All right, all right, all right, all right. We've had a good meal. Let him explain why he downed my tea again. You will use every ounce of your self-control and hold back the violence you're about to unleash on him and his pathetic existence. I'm really sorry, but I can't help it. Your tea is just so good that I automatically down it every time without noticing. So... Could I have some more, please? Wait, so you've been downing my tea because it's too good? Exactly. I see. Why didn't you say so sooner? <laughs> and of course you can have another cup. You make him another cup of tea. Dude, are you, are you just downing scalding hot tea? There you go. Thank you so much, slurp. You know... I have to say, you're not so bad after all. You haven't even thrown anything at me, or tied me to the furniture. I expected more torture from you, not such guest friendliness. I don't see any need to torture you yet, <laughs> <laughs> My shoelaces, they're still tied together. I almost forgot about them. Won't you help me? Please, please, please? No. Eh? Because you know what? A fish isn't enough. I'm gonna help you get a whole bunch of fish. You probably mean give a man a fish he'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish he'll eat for a lifetime? Yawn. Uh-oh. Yep, that's the one. <sighs> I'm feeling sleepy again. Oops, I put sleeping pills into your tea again out of habit. It wasn't on purpose this time, I promise. Anyways, I'll teach you to untie your shoelaces yourself instead of doing it for you. Deal? Sounds like a splendid deal. I guess I'll wait until he wakes up again. But in the meantime, I'll tie his shoelaces together even worse, so it's more of a challenge. You tie his shoelaces with a double, triple, mega, giga super knot. You are a cruel and evil young lady, Becky. And I commend you. Why do I feel like my shoelaces are tied together even worse now? Hey! 
Hey, sleep talking while being a guest in a house you broke into is still rude. You yell at his sleeping face again. <laughs> the robber starts waking up again. <laughs> Trips over double, triple, mega, giga, super knotted shoelaces. What? What the? How am I supposed to untie this? This is outrageous. At this point, guy, just take the shoes off. Don't worry, I'll teach you. If you can untie this, you can untie anything. I believe in you. Attempts to untie shoelaces. Come on, come on. Just want to walk again. This is silly. Here, let me show you what you have to do. You show him. Now you try. Okay. Attempts to untie shoelaces. Ah, I can't do it. This is too complicated. I should be out robbing someone, not trying to get out of my own shoelaces. What kind of robber can't even untie his own shoelaces? Don't you want to be a good robber? No, a great robber even? You start getting fired up. Uh-oh. Come on, you can do this. I believe in you. Okay. Attempts to untie shoelaces. I can't. This darn double, triple, mega, giga, super knot is too hard. Uh... Less crying, more untying. Ah. Attempts to untie shoelaces. I can't do it. Come on. Are you a robber or a wimp? You start, go you start going feral. <laughs> you never want to see that happen. You can feel the beast inside of you screaming. The robber backs off slightly, getting overwhelmed. Stop yelling at me, okay? I I could do it. Attempts to untie shoelaces. Ah, I can't do it. Ah. Do it. Do it. Do it. You feel your fangs starting to grow and your nails sharpening. Ah, please stop. I can't untie them. Stop being so mean and teach me better. I am a great teacher. You're just a student. By now, it's visibly obvious you're not completely human. <laughs> now go on and untie them. Don't be a wimp. Ah, what are you? A, a werewolf? Do it! Do it! You let out a guttural howl. Ah. Attempts to untie shoelaces. Please, I'm sorry. Teach me in a nicer way. You're, you're stressing me out. Ah. Untie them, you bastard! Please? Come on! Or I'm gonna rip you to pieces! The robber is terrified by now. No, don't rip me apart, please. I'm scared. <laughs> yes, you should be scared. I have ripped apart so many bastards before you, and I always enjoy every second of it. Now, now untie, untie that, that double, double, triple, triple mega, mega, giga, super knot before I scatter your organs all over my living room. Cries hysterically. <laughs> Driven by fear and terror, and not wanting to get mauled to death, the robber finally manages to untie his shoelaces. <gasps> I I did it. I did it. You did it. The robber jumps up and down. I really did it. I untied the double, triple, mega, giga, super knot. Becky jumps up and down. Hooray! I'm the best teacher ever. You start calming down a bit. Your fangs and sharp nails start going away. You really did help me. You're a true friend. Oh, are we friends now? Um... Uh, are we? Only if you don't mind, of course. Sure, let's be friends. <gasps> Can I? Can I have a hug? 
Please, after all this, I really need a hug. I feel like you're the first genuine friend I've made in years. First genuine friend? Wow, your former friends must have sucked real hard if your bar is that low. But sure. You give him a hug. He hugs you back tightly and starts sobbing. Aww, we just need a little terror to get to this point. Thank you so much. I've never met such a lovely person before. His bar isn't just low. It's burying itself through the concrete. <laughs> Aww. I, I'm sorry for downing your tea. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. That's what friends do, right? They forgive each other for anything, no matter how immoral, horrible, or evil it may be. Jumps up and down. Hooray! I am forgiven! You want another cup of tea? And don't worry about downing it. I don't mind anymore since I know my tea is just too good for you. <laughs> yes, please. That would be lovely. You make him another cup of tea. There you go. Downs tea. Thank you once again for such lovely tea. Ooh. <sighs> Do you mind if I just lay down for a while? Darn it. I put sleeping pills in your tea again. It's such a habit at this point. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Feel free to sleep on my couch. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <sighs> so happy. <laughs> Me too. Oh, True ending. According to Headlocker. Friends. Oh. Hand over your money and earthly possessions. Or else. Hooray! New fertilizer! Huh? You're gonna look amazing inside my garden soil. Are you threatening me, miss? Holds up knife. I have a knife, you know. <laughs> and she's got a sledgehammer. Oh no. <laughs> have a lovely day, miss. <laughs> hey, get back here so I can violently kill you and bury you in my garden. The centipede demands fertilizer for its soil. I appreciate the offer, but I do enjoy being alive. I apologize. You chase after the robber. You don't mind. You love it when they run. <laughs> Good ending, according to Becky. Predator and prey. What if I hand over my money and earthly possessions? Hand over your money and earthly possessions, or else. Okay. Splendid. Uh. Mm -hmm. Go on. Hand them over. Go get them yourself. But I don't wanna. Me neither. Eh. Holds up knife. Hand over your money and earthly possessions. Or else. Or else you'll kill me? Yes. How will I hand over my money and earthly possessions if I'm dead? Hmm. You won't. I guess I'll just murder you and leave then. <laughs> you'll kill me over nothing? It's just too much work. I can't do a murder and a robbery. I'm actively working against the toxic work culture that aims to define me by money and productivity. Good on ya. Right now I'm putting myself first and focusing on self-care and loving myself. Ah, huh, that's pretty insightful for a robber. Yeah, I agree with that whole statement there. Huh. Oh, wow. That's so nice. Congratulations on your self-discovery journey. Thank you very much. Now hand over your money and earthly possessions, please, and thank you. But I'm kind of tired and don't feel like helping you rob my own house. But I'm not going to rob your house either. That's why I'm ordering you to do it. But you broke into my house to rob it in the first place. But I am allowed to change my plans and objectives if I do happen to feel like it gets too much in the middle of it. But right now, I'm kind of tired, so you do it yourself. But by telling me to do it myself, you are invalidating my feelings and concerns, therefore perpetuating the toxic work culture that forces me to neglect my physical and mental health in favor of money and results. 
But you're invalidating my feelings and concerns too by forcing me to rob my own house with a knife, you dummy. But all I am doing is putting myself first, which is not selfish, and in fact, an act of self-care and self-love. But so am I. That's good. Thanks. Same to you. Uh... Are you still kind of tired? Yes. Still too tired to help me rob you? Yes. Completely valid. I understand. Thanks. Hmm. Mm hmm? How about now? Still kind of tired. What if you took a nap and then helped me rob you? Heck no! Completely valid. I understand. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm. What if I myself took a nap on your couch? Maybe I will be able to do everything myself if I get some rest. It has been a hard week. Sure. This is so utterly polite. Thank you very much. I don't think you want to fall asleep in her house, but of course he doesn't know that yet in this playthrough. The robber lies down on the couch. You get him a blanket and tuck him in. He seems very grateful. What a nice and polite robber. If only more robbers were this pleasant to deal with, you wouldn't have to always clean up after your mess. You wonder if he would bleed politely a little too, but you don't have any reason to find out right now. Hmm? And you'll never have a reason, in fact. Because no matter how many times he sleeps over at your couch, he never gets motivated enough to rob you all by himself. Aww. It is quite the hassle, after all, and is a completely valid decision. Hooray, self-care! Aww. Good ending, according to Becky. New roommate. Aww. I see this this title screen, and I'm thinking, oh, this is just going to be a silly little adventure. I didn't think I would get invested in an insane person and a robber. Well, that was Robber Guest, and that was hilarious. <laughs> but there will be a link to the description of this game if you would like to see more games done by this developer. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself, have a great night, and remember, there is always hope.